now I'm going to bring in the case, uh, the picture case that we just created into C for All, uh, and then I will show you how to create a hash set uh, from there to bring back into Xways to simulate what the bookmarking of uh, uh, pictures does, pictures or videos does in uh, in an end case. Uh, this is not a lesson on how to use C for All by any means. Um, and then I'm going to be really running quickly through this uh, to the point that. Uh, a new case. Uh, this is the folder that I had just created. Uh, I create the case. I select my different categories. Obviously the 14 that were pre-categorized that we have before. <coughs> case has been created. This is asking me if I want to compare it against my local hash database. Normally I would uh, be here because I have some fictitious files. I don't want it to uh, be doing that. So no thanks. Uh, this is for the skin that file that I created. So yes, I would like to include the skin file. Rebuilding indexes really takes no time at this point. So I can say yes, and it's done. As you can see, we've got the <coughs> files. Uh, and, uh, actually, one was a was an issue for C for all to open. But these are the files that we'd selected in uh, uh, X ways, and I said that they were category one. Um, and here I'm going to simulate uh, some files. Uh, I'm going to put them in Category 1 just for the sake of showing you how to bring them back in. So I've made those Category 1 and I might as well make all of these Category 1. <coughs> so at this point your investigator uh, will have all their Category 1s uh, ready to go. You can see I have 47 of them here. Um, when they're done their case and you want to bring them into X-Ways if you need to, uh, you would use the data migration export work from case to Ashkeeper. <coughs> so here uh, I've turned that off. I said I only want number one Ashkeeper set. I'm going to create this. Uh, I, think I will create this on a different drive than my normal database, or it can be on the same drive. Just uh, I want it in the same folder as my original database. So I will just put it on the, the drive that I had. I will create the set. It says it's complete. As you can see now, there's these two files have been created for Hashkeeper. So I can close this now. <coughs> now I've, I've come into Xways here. Uh, I've created another folder. Um, called hash for uh, hash for x-rays video test this is where I'm gonna put all my my hash database so I will uh, uh, say hash database um, I can import then import the hash keeper files that I just had uh, you can see it shows up as the HSH I say open I want them to be notable <coughs> It's now added 47 values to my set. So all I've done is I've changed my location of my hash database. My existing, my previous Xways hash database is still there. I can refer to it if I want, but this is for this particular case. So now I will compute the hash. I won't verify them because the hash is already been done, but I want to match against the dash hash database which is different than before so um, and I can say in selected so I'll say okay uh, it's a uh, MD5 that I want to compute it's already been done so it won't make a difference and now here are the 47 hash values that I just did so if I select that you can see it's relatively quick um, so uh, I can explore recursively and you'll notice that there's some red files in there. And these are the ones that are now put as notable, and they were uh, the category ones from this. So if I now uh, only want to view uh, the notable files, these are the ones that I had pre-categorized as category one, and these are all the new ones compared to uh, that I've added. So I can look at them in gallery view, 
and there are all the files that I said were category one. So that's how you bring your your files back into uh, Xways, and you will know exactly where they are because you have all the details of, of uh, every file. Um, and so we turn that off. They're now mixed in with other ones. So I, I hope that helps. Uh, after you're done doing this, uh, before you do the next case, just point to your new hash or your old hash database. It's a simple option if I didn't show you, but under general, right now I'm pointing to that hash database. I would just change it to be the hash database that I normally have it as. Um, in this case, this is where I've got my hash database. So now I'm all set up with the way that I was before. Hope this helps.